What is going on everybody? Logan here for another video and today we are talking about the RPM Act and the EPA's sudden enforcement of laws that are already on the books um, and what it's going to mean for the motorsport community going forward. Uh, any kind of car enthusiast, it's going to affect you um, and you really need to pay attention to these events as they unfold uh, but let's get into it. And sorry if I don't sound like my normal self. I actually just tested positive for COVID yesterday. Um, I just had to get outside and film this video because I've been cooped up in the house all day, slept till three. I feel horrible. But before I start talking about the EPA and the RPM Act, I'm going to ask you, do you like modifying your cars? Do you like uh, tuning them to get better fuel economy, more power, uh, tuning it for E85, uh, even though if you have 11 to 14 Mustang? Um, do you like changing your car? Do you like changing your exhaust system, headers, uh, changing your muffler? Do you like those things? Because if you do, your th the EPA does not like you and they are going to go after you to make sure that your car is completely stock. If it was up to the EPA, you wouldn't be able to do any of those things. No more tuning, no more exhaust changes, no more headers. Um, a lot of performance parts would essentially be made illegal. You mean not being able to change anything on our cars and it's disheartening because uh, for me, I love cars. Uh, cars have been a main, a main point in my life since I started driving, since I got my 2005 V6 Mustang and um, I mean, since I was 17 years old and I just like changing it. Uh, I changed the you know, headers, intake, all kinds of stuff on it i uh, got it tuned i mean yeah it was a waste of money but still at the same time it was something that i really enjoyed doing and i you know kind of moved that over to the car i have now you know now i have headers exhaust intake all kind of stuff that's on my car that the epa doesn't want on my car because it makes it less green um even though it may actually make the car run greener it, they don't want it. Prime example is Lund. Uh, they were raided. I mean, they weren't really raided. Uh, some EPA um, agents, they went to Lund and had them, uh, you know, walk around in the cars they had there to see if they did have any kind of defeat devices, uh, which apparently they didn't from what I heard. You'd have to go watch uh, Lund Jr., his video. Um, he kind of broke down everything. Um, but, I mean, just looking at his video, I mean, that's going to be... The future of motorsports you know the, the epa kind of showing up unannounced and then examining all these cars and they want to make it they want to move on to you know just normal civilian cars making it where any kind of car with a vin number no intake changes no tuning no exhaust changes anything that's going to change the way the, the car runs no you can't do it which is absolutely ridiculous i mean this is america we have our car scene and yeah the bureaucrats the government leaders i'm sure that they don't really see the way see it the way we're seeing it because for us it's a way of life we love our cars we love to drive them uh you know reduces stress even some military members uh that the car is their escape you know being able to build up their car go racing uh whether it be at the drag strip or on the street um they like to go racing and taking that away from us i think is just honestly ridiculous um and to the people that are saying that this is not political that these laws have been on the book since 2016 this is nothing but political biden's biden is in office now and honestly i've said it a thousand times before elections have consequences and this is our consequence they control the house the senate and the presidency they have a green agenda and they want to make this world they want to save the environment and they want to do all this stuff um and this is part of that. And listen, I'm not against saving the environment. I mean, I agree that, you know, humans need to treat the environment better. But as far as going after car enthusiasts and, you know, these little tiny things, I mean, there are a lot of car enthusiasts, but people who are using these defeat devices and making, you know, contributing to, po contributing to pollution, it's not, they're looking at the wrong thing. If they want to actually do something, they would need to uh, improve energy sources, go nuclear, wind power, uh, hydropower. I mean, they can do stuff like that that would greatly reduce emissions or greatly reduce CO2 pollution versus going after cars, c car enthusiasts. I mean, they're just doing the wrong thing and this isn't really going to do anything besides hurt the economy because for one, there are thousands, if not maybe 
maybe even hundreds of thousands of jobs in the in this industry because you have to pay people to tune your car uh, all these shops and everything that do it you know privately not these big companies like Lund or VMP but these small shops uh, they're gonna get shut down because they just won't have the revenue to operate you know not being able to install a turbocharger supercharger not tune your car no exhaust systems I mean there are exhaust shops that all they do is you know change mufflers out uh, now granted some of them yes they probably do do uh, you know exhaust repair but you know changing mufflers out for better sounding mufflers louder mufflers um, I mean that is a large part of their business model and if they can't do that anymore they're gonna lose money um, so, and that will cause owners business owners to have to let people go then you look at some of these bigger companies like America Muscle late model restoration VMP Lund who customers will literally pay thousands of dollars for these performance parts well in the, the country they make their money they make tax money off of that well that's going to go away along with the jobs and um uh to me like i already said this is nothing but political they're trying to make the air cleaner and i've already looked at the videos and some of the um the articles that are for this enforcement basically you know they're tuning it to uh, tuning it they're making it sound like uh, you know they're making the air greener for our kids so we don't have to breathe in all this smog uh and they're making the people who do tune cars and who get their cars tuned uh they're making them sound like the bad guys that you know like the people who don't care about the kids that they only care about themselves they're selfish which i think is just ridiculous so guys go sign the rpm act um the rpm act and i'll leave a link to the rpm act down rpm act down below and as far as what the rpm act is it is the recognizing for the protection of motorsports act um basically making it where you know we're protected to convert our cars into race cars um which I know some of y'all are already thinking, like, why would I care about race cars? My car is not a race car. Um, why should I care? And that's because it doesn't just stop at, you know, converting some cars into race cars, like actual race cars. It's going to affect all of us, like I already said, with the tuning, exhaust, things like that. Uh, but the RPM Act just may basically protects us um, into doing what we want, changing our cars into actual race cars where we can go to the drag strip, go race, different things like that. Um, and it is going to affect everybody in the car community. Um, it's going to going to limit everything we're able to do to our cars the left here in america they want us to drive electric cars they believe that electric cars are cleaner which yeah if you look at the exhaust the emissions of an electric car versus a gas car yeah obviously the electric car is going to be way cleaner 100 percent cleaner because this has no emissions but then you have to look at the power source of the electric cars it comes directly from these coal burning plants, natural gas. Uh, yeah, some, I'm very sure, hydro and, you know, wind, nuclear, some, some renewable resources, but the vast majority of the electricity comes from these non-renewable resources. So I just think it's ridiculous that they're coming after the car community now. I mean, I can't really say I'm surprised, but still at the same time, with how big the car industry is, as far, you know, the aftermarket industry is, I think it's ridiculous, but really that is all I have to say. I mean, please, you know, if you're subscribed to me and you're seeing this video, it's because you like cars, you like motorsport. Um, and just to protect all of us going forward, you need to sign the RPM Act. And like I said, I'll leave a link to the actual RPM Act where you can sign it, which I've already signed it, uh, down in the description below. Um, you know, just protect our hobby. I mean, cars is a major part of my life. I mean, dang, for my gender reveal, I did a burnout, uh, rolling over the little bags of, uh, pink powder reveal I'm having a girl I mean cars are a huge part of my life I'm sure they're huge parts of all y'all's lives is watching this video so just sign the RPM Act and if you want to go one step further write to your local congressman and let them know that this is ridiculous the EPA's enforcement and that they need to uh, um, you know they that they need to support the RPM Act because something has to get done and if we let the government do what they want to do we're not gonna have the cars that we all have right now so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it and please subscribe and as always have a great day